Hello everybody, welcome back. This is another, um, I suppose, update video on the Almighty Pack. Uh, today I am releasing version 5 of my The Almighty Pack, and with it comes a whole bunch of new features which I'm happy about, Oop. and also a whole bunch of new mods which I'll get into a little bit later. So. First you'll want to go to acedocky.com, go to Downloads in the top bar, and then the Almighty Pack. And then come down and download the Almighty Pack Windows. That'll say version V5. I haven't updated it yet to the website. Uh, will be done by the time this video is out. So download that and extract it. Uh, extract all the files in there into wherever your... Uh, you've got the previous version installed. Once you've done that, you'll want to run the run.bat. Now I'm going to go through as in someone installing this from new. So, uh, again, if you haven't installed it, it'll say you haven't installed, so it's going to check for updates. And if you're, you already have it installed, you just want to go into there and then press option 3 to check for updates. And then it will automatically reinstall and start this process. Again, it's a familiar process. It'll do this, it'll do that. Put in your username and password if it isn't already there. Then we wait for it to download. So yeah, I'm really excited to release this. Um, there's a whole bunch of now optional mods which you can install on after the main installer is finished. Uh, I won't be using them all in my Let's Play, but there is two of them which I'm looking forward to using in my Let's Play. Uh, it's up to you when and how many of them you install. You can remove them at any time. And yeah, it's good fun. So let's continue. Now you're going to go through and download all the mods. I've already done that, so it's going to say I'm all done. Then it's going to install just as normal. Doing the Minecraft.jar, then the configs. Uh, process is now complete. Now this is where it gets different. Press any key to continue. Then it'll come up with this screen. Did you know there are a bunch of cool mods such as Obdefine, Portal Gun, Mine Colony, Mistcraft, and more in the optional mods installer? You can easily install and uninstall a bunch of different mods to make the Almighty Pack more fun. To install slash uninstall the optional mods anytime, just open the run.bat and press 6. Did you want to check out the optional mods now? You have two options. You can press no and the installer will exit, or you can press yes. Uh, and this will come up. This I'll just shut down. I'll just show you how to do it. When you open the run.bat, there's now options 6. Add, remove, optional, extra mods. Uh, which is this. It will say, welcome to the optional mods installer. So uninstaller. From here, you will be able to install and uninstall any of the optional mods that can accompany the almighty pack. These optional mods are, as they sound, completely optional, and you will not lose any gameplay value by not installing them. They are optional for one of many reasons which you must understand before continuing. Optional mods can contain pre-release mods that aren't stable. Optional mods can contain mods that are very resource intensive, so only those with high-end computers should attempt to install them. Optional mods can screw up and corrupt your world due to their nature, so please make plenty of backups. Just like with your main installer, please make sure you download the mods to the downloads folder. Once you've read and understood the above, press the key to continue. Alright, now you have a list of eight additional mods which you can install. Again, they're all optional, so you, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, so you've got Portal Gun, you've got Optifine, you've got Vs Bees, you've got Extra Bees, Mistcraft, Somnia, Extra Biomes, XL, and Mine Colony. <coughs> so basically to install, I'm just going to take, for example, uh, Optifine, because Optifine is no longer an option in the normal installer you actually have to come into this screen and install it now. So you press 2 for Optifine. Then it will say Optifine. It, basically the first paragraph here is a overview of what the mod actually does, what it is. 
And then this second one here explains why it is an optional mod. Um, and with the uh, Optifine and Mistcraft, they are both mods which you cannot uninstall once you install them. To uninstall them, you have to reinstall the Almighty Pack from scratch. So make sure you want them before you install them. So to install them, just simply press 1. And then it'll install it for you. That's all done. Now, option 2 in each of these menus is to view the Minecraft forum thread for it. Basically, just open it up so you can have a look and yeah, see what it is. And option 3 takes you to the mods list. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can install as many as you want. I've tested it and they do work with each other. I don't know if they bug anything, but I know that the Minecraft will load up and there's no errors as far as I can see. So for my Let's Play, I'm going to be using two extra mods, which is Mistcraft. Just install that. And Portal Gun. Portal Gun is one of those mods where you can actually uninstall it. So, say you want to uninstall it, you come in, you choose the mod you want to uninstall, like one is Portal Gun. Then just option one changes to uninstall Portal Gun. Pressing that will basically uninstall it. So for now, that's that's all I'm going to be using in my Let's Play is Mistcraft and Portal Gun. So now I'm going to exit out of that. And that's it. That's how you install and remove optional mods into the Almighty Pack. I'll be adding and I'll be adding some more when I see them. Any extra ones I think I want to add to the pack, I'm going to do it that way. Uh, when you go into your run.bat and check for updates, it's going to also check for updates to the optional installs. Once if that finds an update, then you will be prompted that there was optional updates available and to go into option 6. Okay, now changed in this run.bat is I've added the backup and saves menu, which is option 7. Uh, from this menu you can make backups of the almighty pack in case anything goes wrong, you can always use that backup. The backups created are just a zipped version of your saves directory, so if you have big worlds or a lot of worlds, then the backups may be large. Uh, you've got three options. You can open your backups folder, which will open up your backups folder. You've got an option to open your saves folder, which was in the main menu before, but now it's in there. Then you've got one, which is create a new backup. Once it's done, it makes a zip in your backups folder, which is just in your main directory and backups. So yeah, that's also good. And lastly is option eight, helpful web links. I moved all the links to my YouTube and the forums into there, so you can go into there and there's a view the almighty pack change log, view the almighty pack forums and view Ryan the almighty on YouTube. So there are your options there of course, they'll take you to wherever they're supposed to go. Um, so here's the updates that I have done. Um, yes, oh yes, also the um, when you go here and go option 2 to create standalone play executable executable I change the way it does now it downloads a file from the internet and puts it in that directory uh, puts the play dot back here um, rather than the way it was doing it before where it was creating the file and didn't have to download anything unfortunately that was a bit bugged and I couldn't use that anymore so I'm gonna have to go with this option for now uh, do, do, do. Uh, yes, that's another important thing. Uh, once you uh, exit out of the game, the window, the console window, won't close until you press a button. Uh, this is good for troubleshooting. Uh, in case something goes wrong, you can look there and post in the forums if you have a problem. If you have a problem. Uh, next, uh, yeah, removed Obli Fine from the original installer. I went through that. Um, I removed the 4096 that was in there and could because Forge has its own 4096 fix now and I added um, Shy Rose's ID resolver support patch 
it's just a thing to allow ID Resolver, which I use in my pack to work. And here are all the optional mods. And you got Portal Gun, Vis Bees, Extra Bees, Mistcraft, Somnia, Extra Biomes, Excel, and Mind Colony. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, the optional mods, uh, I have installed them all, uh, gotten their configs all working, so it shouldn't be a problem. But just, you know, I haven't played around with it, so there may be problems with it. Incompatibilities, I'm not sure. It looked good, but you never know. So just be careful, and make sure you keep plenty of backups. So, thanks for watching, and I will be uploading a episode of Feed the Beast tonight, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, so take care, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.